I get to some new developments now that could happen today from the fallout of the FBI search of former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. Caleb Califano has been covering this story for us. He is live in West Palm Beach to explain the proposals we're expecting from the DOJ in just a few hours, Caleb. That is correct. The Department of Justice has until noon to submit any redactions they believe are necessary with this affidavit. They have stated they'd like the entire document private with concerns over revealing too much with the search at Mar-a-Lago. Now it's been exactly one week since a federal judge here in West Palm Beach told the Justice Department they had to submit any records on what parts should be redacted if he unseals the affidavit. This all stems from an August 8th FBI search of Mar-a-Lago where they obtained 11 sets of classified documents. Officials say what was obtained is being investigated for possibly violating the Espionage Act, obstruction of justice, and improper handling of government records. State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg tells us the release of the affidavit would be unprecedented and not a good idea. It's a terrible idea to release this information in advance, especially before anyone has even been charged in this matter. Again, the Department of Justice has until noon today to, to submit any redactions that they believe are necessary. For now, we're live in West Palm Beach. Caleb Calfano, WPBF 25 News.